Hey all, welcome back to the channel. Today is the last camping day for the provincial campgrounds of Nova Scotia. And we are at Graves Island in our 2021 Intac Luna Rover. So this is sort of a, uh, a long-term review, three-year review. This is our third summer uh, owning it. We got out, I don't know, maybe a dozen times this year in it and had a blast every single time. Um, the Luna Rover, we have had it for three years and knock on wood, we have experienced zero issues um, other than this little magnetic thing breaking off out front here. So this this broke off on the other side which is no big deal i hit it in the garage and uh yeah we've uh we've had some really enjoyable times in this camper this year and as you can tell she's mint she's in mint condition boys um it's the typical lunar rover with the coleman uh with the coleman cooler We got the gas stove here. Uh, I did a couple things. I put a Volthium 100 amp hour lithium battery in here, along with a Renogy 1000 watt uh, inverter so that we can use uh, power inside, like AC power instead of uh, DC. So, I have a little plug behind the television there, a little plug behind the TV, and um, yeah, I can plug stuff in. I can plug my laptop in, uh, anything, uh, f Xbox, whatever you need. I have my TV plugged into the, I have the TV plugged in, I'll show you guys, Ugh. plugged into a little uh, power brick that I have behind behind the television. And uh, yeah, we, we love this camper. I gotta say, um, a lot of people bitch about them uh, with, the, with the number nine axles and knock on wood again, our number, number nine axle has not caused us grief. Yeah, we, uh, we have no problems with our number nine axle because we don't overload our camper. Um, you can see, if you look along the wheel, Everything is perfectly straight. It's, it's not bowed in like that, which is indicative. It's indicative of the axle starting to fail. So you look at that and it's perfectly straight because, you know, we don't, we don't beat this. We don't, uh, we don't overload it. That's the most important thing. These, the number nine axles, um, yeah, they're coming out with number 10. They come out with the 2023s have, uh, number 10 axles on them now so yeah anyway we uh we have no problems and we probably won't so that being said here's the once around of the camper zamp solar so whenever i use solar on this i have the gender switcher that uh that allows my renogy 200 watt suitcase to uh to charge the lithium battery no problemo whatsoever so uh gonna be a short video uh there's my tow rig there it is a 2021 ram warlock and it is more than it's got the 392 rear end so i can hardly i can hardly feel my uh little camper behind me when I'm in that truck. Um, so we're at Graves Island here and it's a beautiful fall day after a storm. Um, yeah, it's, it's it, some sort of tropical storm that hit last night and we we're on the fence as to whether we were going to, uh, to come camping or not. But, uh, 
Yeah, my wife made an apple pie for Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Uh, I don't know when American Thanksgiving is, but Canadian Thanksgiving is today. So happy Thanksgiving to everybody. And uh, yeah, three year review. This thing is as awesome as the day I bought it. Like, no lie, this, this camper, we've had so many good times in it and it's, it's so big inside for such a small camper that we can fit our lawn chairs in here. Like we wanna, we don't wanna sit down on the, on the, the fold out mats or the fold out mattress. We can bring our, uh, we can bring our lawn chairs in there and just sit up like we're sitting in a living room watching TV. Uh, we also decided to not make the bed anymore. We bought a, we each bought large um, sleeping bags that we all of the same type that we zip together into one big loop of a sleeping bag, and uh, we have no problems with that. It's it's awesome. the The sleeping bags are made by Coleman, and we we don't get cold. We've we've been camping in somewhat cold weather, you know, down to I don't know seven degrees celsius and uh we have had no issues whatsoever so we love this thing we love this camper highly recommend uh highly recommend you guys pick one up they they're they're still making them even though uh in tech has branched off into some other weird spaceship looking thing so yeah uh if you guys have any questions hit me up on the in tech uh Intech what is it? It's a Facebook group. Intech Luna Rover. Hit me up on that. Um yeah, so we're very happy. Three year review. It is awesome. If you want a more detailed review of everything everything Luna Rover, you've probably seen my one year review and my initial impressions videos. If not, the they're linked down below. So I wish you guys a good winter. Uh, I hope you all had fun camping in your Luna Rover or whatever campers you guys had this year. Or if you're thinking of getting a Luna Rover, do it. It's it's amazing. It's it's top quality. It's not junk. It's not a Jayco. It's not any of the lower brands. This is premium camping. And yeah, there it is. Big front window stoked can't wait for next year camping so like share subscribe if you didn't see any of my other uh other uh lunar rover videos i have everything from winterizing to installing solar to installing a uh it, the inverter to installing the battery itself i have a lot of install videos um tips and tricks so like, share, subscribe if you're interested in Intech Lunar Rover. I'm the guy to watch. Peace.